We are going to get busy with some alcohol ink and create really fun handmade gifts to give to your family and friends for the holidays. Let's get to it. Let's start with this little trinket dish. This is something I picked up at an antique store for $1. And it's like the shape of a leaf, I believe. And here I am just going in and adding a couple of different colors of alcohol ink. I'm using an orange, a purple, and a green. When the, when the orange and purple, or I think it's orange and purple. Yeah, when they meet together, they don't look really pretty at first, but give it time. I'm using this handheld blower thing I got off of Amazon. You can use a heat tool to kind of push it around because we're working on ceramic. Nothing's going to melt. You can also use a straw, but you'll be lightheaded and probably passed out by the time you're done all, with all the blowing. I have a little a dropper filled with alcohol and in that little squirt bottle, that's also isopropyl alcohol. And I just am dropping some alcohol in and then I am taking the handheld blower thing. I don't know what they're called. I'm sure there's some technical term and I'm just squeezing it. My hand did start to hurt, you know, by the end of this, but it's worth it. So then I'm going to go in and add a little bit of green here and I'm just having a good time. I'm basically adding color, adding one or two drops of alcohol with that little syringe thingy and then just pushing it all around. And then I'm making sure that the you know, the sides have some color on it. I'm leaving the bottom alone. I'm not worrying about the bottom at all. I'm going to leave that white. But uh, think about what you have lying around your house, any ceramic doodads, this and that's. You can totally turn these into alcohol ink art pieces, right? I know I got a lot of stuff like this laying around the house. So just take a look or maybe pop into a garage sale or, a, you know, antique store, something like that, and pick these up for next to nothing. I'm going in with some gilding flakes. I did not mean to pick up this many, but it's, you know... Whew, this stuff is messy, but it's so pretty. So if you're going to use gilding flakes, have a dust buster on standby because I did and I just dust busted all this stuff up later. So the gilding flakes are going to stick to the sticky parts of the alcohol ink that I have not let dry yet. So once that's kind of set in there, I'm going to go in with a little squiggle of gold alcohol ink. Everything I'm using are going to be linked below in the description for you. And here's a look at this little trinket dish. It's pretty, it's beautiful. I love the veins of all the alcohol ink and that little dash of the copper gilding flakes paired with the gold alcohol ink. I just love it. I decided to make a coordinating art panel piece. So I've grabbed a piece of Yupo paper. This is by far the best paper to use when you're using alcohol inks. It's better than even alcohol ink cardstock, in my opinion. I love Yupo. You can get it on Amazon. You can buy it in bulk at some art supply stores. But I'm going in with the same color alcohol inks that I used in the little trinket dish, and I'm doing the same thing. I've got that little syringe there filled with alcohol ink. I'm dropping the color down, and then I'm using that handheld air blower thing to kind of push it all around. I love the look of white space in alcohol ink art, but for some reason, I never do it. I just, all the colors just run together. So I use some alcohol ink from Jacquard pinata colors. It's white and that's how I get my white. But here I am. I'm actually going to use the spray bottle for the first time. Let me show you again in slow-mo. I'm going to spray a little bit of alcohol ink on this panel and you can see the alcohol ink reacting to the isopropyl alcohol. I love the look of those little itty bitty dots. I think it's so pretty and so artsy. So you can spray isopropyl alcohol. You cannot spray alcohol ink blending solution because the blending solution contains resin and you don't want that in the air. I just love this little set. Perfect handmade gift. So let's do a phone case. This is a old scratched up clear phone case that I had. This is plastic. It's perfect for alcohol inks to stick to. So, and at this point I can use my heat tool a little bit. That's not going to melt that plastic. Uh, so I'm kind of using the heat tool to push around the alcohol inks because my hand was sore at this point from pumping that blower thing. But I'm going in with some pink. I'm going to do a little bit of purple. I'm kind of making, or my goal was to make like a galaxy look, if you will. Uh, so we'll see how I do. Let me know how I do. I love the, the veins of that ink there. So here I am going in with some gold. I love this pinata gold. It looks like there's a mixative in there, but it's not. And uh, me and the mixative ink, alcohol inks don't get along. They don't blend well for me, but these just they're perfect they're perfect so I love the gold on that like hot pink especially that very saturated part of the alcohol ink I am using the spray bottle here to move the ink around I'm really just having a lot of fun with alcohol inks it's very freeing it's not you can't really control it or I can't but that's okay you know if I don't like a portion of it I just 
wipe it away with alcohol and start over. But I'm going to end up loving this phone case. Love it, love it, love it. And don't worry, I'm going to tell you how you seal all your alcohol ink projects in just a minute. So here I am going in with the purple. So I've got purple, green, pink, and gold. I've got those four colors here. And I'm just using that blower thing. I'm spritzing the alcohol. Sometimes I'm dropping little droplets on there. I'm using my heat tool, whatever. I'm just having a lot of fun here. Let go of the control and just have fun. I'm working on one of those heat resistant silicone mats. You can also work right on your glass surface. Easy, easy cleanup. You just use your alcohol ink and wipe it up. I'm using the leftover alcohol ink on that little silicone mat to put on the side of my phone case. I'm not doing anything with the inside. It's clear. You don't need to. So I'm just using that ink there. <laughs> <laughs> to pick it up. Then I'm going to go in with a couple of final blows with that hand blower thing. And oh my gosh, I love this. Do you? I love it. What a great customized handmade gift to give to someone. Again, this is going in that one box that I'm sending off to my family because I can't be with anyone on Christmas. Well, that's not true. I'm with my husband and children, but my extended family, I'm not going to be able to see because of COVID. <laughs> But I love that phone case. All right, I'm going to make a couple more alcohol ink panels. We're just going to whiz by this because I want to show you truly how easy they are to do. Now, you can use your heat tool on your bow paper, but carefully carefully please be careful because the heat will warp your upo paper so just keep that heat tool moving and you know use a blow uh, the hand blower thing is the safest but i tell you my hand was aching aching so i did use the heat tool a couple of times but you have to keep it moving because if you leave it on the same spot for just a few seconds your upo paper is going to like curl up and bleh, you won't be able to fix that so just have some fun. Drop the alcohol ink, drop some alcohol, push it around with your hand blower or a straw, and look at that. Bada bang, bada boom, look at that. All right, this is like, <laughs> this is it. Watch this. Four squiggle lines of color. Four. Blue, green, purple, and pink. Then I'm going to take that little syringe thingy, and I'm going to fill it up with alcohol, and I'm going to do some droplets. And then guess what I'm going to do? Absolutely nothing. I set it off to the side. I let it dry, and look it. Will you look at this? I love this. It's my favorite one and effortless. Effortless. To seal your alcohol ink projects, just use this Krylon Crystal Seal acrylic coating. It goes on clear. Take it outside. Spray your projects. It's smelly. Let them sit for a bit and you're good to go. That's all you have to do. So I've got all these beautiful alcohol inked projects that I handmade for my family to send to them for Christmas since I'm not going to be able to see them over the holidays. I am pouring my heart and soul into these handmade gifts because it's helping me cope with the anxiety of not being able to be with them. So I think they're going to love it. We're all going to be sad because we can't be together, but at least at that moment when they open the box and they see all the stuff I'm putting together, a hodgepodge of stuff, they're going to be happy and so will I. So next week I've got something different in store for you, for a little handmade something, something, something. I think you're going to like it. So be sure you're subscribed, click that notification bell, and I'll see you next week.